I'm Malishi Khu Komani and welcome to another extraordinary episode of Bird Matters because birds matter. The Western Cape is no stranger to fires. They come and go every summer, making headline news for a few days until the nation moves on to other stories. But what are the consequences for the birds and their environment? Here's Phoebe Barnard, who leads a research team on Fynbos endemic birds. Fire has been a feature of the Fynbos ecosystem ever since it was a, a Mediterranean type climate uh, with, with winter rainfall and summer drought. So fire is, is a natural thing and it's a necessary thing for the regermination of plants and so on. As far as birds are concerned, it's important to understand that, as with anything else, there are winners and losers from climate change, from fire. So in the Feinbos we experience uh, the, a, a situation where most insect-eating birds, like the cake rock jumper, endemic to the Feinbos, uh, do quite well out of frequent fire. They forage, uh, for insects in among tussocks of restios and things like that. And that sort of middle-aged Feinbos habitat after, b between one and, say, seven or eight years after a burn is actually very good for them. But for nectar-feeding species such as the Cape sugarbird, orange-breasted sunbird, uh, which are the, the flagship iconic endemic birds of the Feinbos, uh, frequent fires are actually quite a problem because they take out the mature species such as this one, uh, which is a, a, a Luca, Lucaspermum conicarpidendron, um, that, that takes seven to ten or more years to produce um, mature nectar-bearing blossoms to support local communities of those birds. But where you have increasing fire, you find that um, increasingly there's no area with mature feinbos more than 10 years old. And in fact, most of these nectar feeding birds require feinbos that's between 7 and 25 or 30 years old. And it's important not to allow all of the feinbos in an area to be burnt um, more frequently than that. So with arson, with uh, urbanization, with cars, with cats, we need to be mindful that even though sunbirds and sugarbirds appear to be common now, that the, the tipping point can be reached quite quickly without us knowing about, with, without us even seeing it. And it's important to keep investing in these citizen science projects such as SABEP2 in research that enables us to look um, more carefully into the window of what's happening in the natural world before things, before it's too late. 